Welcome back. I hope everyone is having a happy new year so far. I'm currently at home, snowed in, although there was a few snowflakes, but I ain't tripping on it. The kids are out of school. So I decided to give, let's catch up. We have so much to catch up on. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, I rock with y'all in real life. Christmas this year was different. Um, there's a lot of changes going on within me individually and just within our family. So things just looked a little different for us this year. Tia decided to do a cousin sibling sleepover with the kids. We wanted to give the kids some type of just normalcy. We're all going through changes, work, lives, changes. There's a bunch of different changes, but it's important. It's always important to me to give the kids some sort of normalcy. The joy that these kids experience when they are together makes me forget about all of the issues that I have. We all dressed up in Christmas pajamas, went to my brother's house, uh, dressed up in Christmas pajamas. The kids dance, they laugh, they all look so cute together. It's just, everybody is growing up. These are not the little girls anymore that, like, it's just, I ain't ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready for the growth. And as much as I am not ready for them to grow up, I do know that time is moving very quick. They are growing up pretty soon. They won't want to hang out with us like this so much. So I, this season, this holiday season, I really found myself standing around just admiring the dope individuals that we've raised. Not even just my kids, but Tia and David, I really consider them my babies. <laughs> I'm looking at my babies, tell my other babies. <laughs> All of the stories <laughs> that we had in our teenage years. We played games together. We really, really bonded through just spending time with one another. Me and the girls came through and racked up on the gifts. I won't even lie. <laughs> Team P Money in the gang. <laughs> We came through and we won a bunch of gifts. I won wine glasses, socks. Madison won a boom box. We won money, gift cards. It was just such a vibe. And the kids genuinely looked happy. And I couldn't ask, I couldn't have asked for a better holiday season. Christmas my sister was hosting 
Christmas at her house this year and we've not really been together for Christmas in a long time. My granny always is pulling out all the stops. She, a card is gonna be involved when it comes to my granny. But it was just such a vibe watching her. My granny is getting up in age. So every moment that I get to spend with her, I cherish, I really do cherish the feeling of being together and being with family. Rolling into the new year, I didn't really, I didn't make a bunch of plans. I still ended up going to Pilates <laughs> that weekend and I just really took this time to focus in. I made a bunch of crock pot meals. This specifically was my favorite though, because it was easy. I've never made pasta in the crock pot. If you have, good for you. <laughs> I ain't made it, this is my first time. I really just put some chicken breast in the bottom of the crock pot. I used white um, Alfredo sauce. I used red pasta sauce. I put bell peppers. These are all of the seasonings. Hey, Auntie Tab. Uh, I just seasoned it up to the way that I like it. We're going to sprinkle some cayenne pepper on everything because I love a little seasoning. Let that cook for like three or four hours. I did add mushrooms and onions and a bunch of stuff too, y'all. I let that cook for a few hours in the crock pot on high. Boiled my noodles on a separate pot. Added some cheese. Then I added my like whole grain pasta noodles. Mixed that up and we had pasta. I just wanted to, I'm not the person that gets to the new year or New Year's Eve and I feel like I have to have it all together. I'm still very much hibernating, reflecting, figuring out what type of meals I can cook. But I did pop out for nephew's birthday. Ian turned 13. This is back to the part to where I do not want everybody to grow up. I think D3 might be the last one to officially, officially hit teenage years. But how did we get here so fast? <laughs> how did we get here so fast? So this has been my January lately. Chilling with the children slash locking myself in the house. I have to make myself get up and go out and do things. Otherwise, I will really be in work, work mode and I would miss out on these moments. The kids are like, all right, mama, we like being at home, but get us out of here. Tiffany also came home and we got to meet her boyfriend. I love Lil Yan. And we got to spend some much needed sibling time. New things coming up for me. I did a brand refresh, brand refresh photo shoot. I reached out to Faith Anderson of 10th Child Inc. just to help me just kind of refresh my brand a bit. I feel like having a lifestyle channel, lifestyle brand. I needed fresh photos for my for my blog. I needed fresh photos for my YouTube, for thumbnails. So we did a brand photo shoot and I cannot wait for y'all to see how the pictures came out. I, I haven't seen how the pictures came out either, so don't worry. But <laughs> I know they're gonna be fire because some of the behind the scenes content that I got on my phone, I was like, oh wait. And when I tell y'all, it really just kind of went quick. I went on fashion. Most all of the clothes that I wore were from Fashion Nova. I didn't have a stylist or anything like that. I was just like, what do you want to look like? I want to look like a boss, but I still want to be relatable. I'm still very much a mom. I'm not, I don't get up and wear makeup and have like this, you know what I'm saying? Like this extravagant life. I wanted that to read through the photos. So I'm excited for you guys. I'm excited. As soon as the pictures come, I'll do it. I'll come back do another update this is the year of transformation this is the year of ruining myself and god this is the year of not reacting in a negative way to the changes that are coming to the obstacles that i face i would just want to leave you with this it is important in this season to get connected with the source Sometimes doubt and things can set in from yourself, from other people. So it's important to view yourself the way God sees you in this season.